Hi everyone. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create your first uh, Blink program or LED interfacing program on Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller using Python programming. Now, as you can see in this photograph over here, we have an onboard LED. So, no schematics are needed, no breadboard is needed, no LED, register, connectors, nothing is needed for this experiment. And you can directly start doing this experiment when you have connected your Raspberry Pi to your computer. Make sure to watch the previous video in order to run this program because what we want is we want the Raspberry Pi P codes micro Python firmware to be already present into this computer. So if you haven't done that, please watch the video first and then experiment with this current video. Now, let's try this out. Now for this program, I again want to have uh, my camera. So instead of this camera, I have another idea that is to use the laptop camera. So it's okay. It looks well. And uh, although focusing is not that good, it happens after some time. Okay. So this is my Raspberry Pi. MicroPython firmware is already there. Now let me open Thony. Now once the Thony is opened up, make sure that you connect it to Raspberry Pi Pico. Just like that over here. Now there are two ways, either you can directly run your commands over here and then every command when you type it, it will automatically be executed. But we don't want that. For example, like for something like LED blinking, we want to write down a program and then we want to see that output on Raspberry Pi microcontroller. So let's get started with typing some code. We start our code first of all using <coughs> import machine. Then uh, I want delay to be included. So we'll just do import u time. That's the library which is uh, particularly created for Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. Then let's define the onboard LED. So this onboard LED is connected to number 25, pin number 25. Let me show you the pin out over here. Where is it? Where is it? On this page. So GPIO25 is your onboard LED, this LED, as you can see, GP25, right? So let's write it down in this code. So LED is equal to machine.pin25, machine.pin.out. That will make the particular pin work as output pin. Now, as usual, just like in any other Python program, if you want to create an infinite loop, we give a while true loop. The program will come one indent ahead automatically. And then LED dot value one, U time dot slip one second, LED dot value zero. So this is the way of writing one or zero onto the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller spin. U time dot slip is nothing but the time delay generation program. When you write down your program, you need to save it. And when you want to save it, it will ask you where you want to save it. So you want to save it to this computer or on Raspberry Pi Pico. We definitely want to save it to Raspberry Pi Pico. Now what I'll do is uh, we'll just have this window open somewhere like this. We'll just uh, keep it in our hand close to the camera wait for it to focus focus my boy focus mm. okay now i'll just keep it over here and save it to raspberry pi i'll just give some name here and click okay at overhead blink, yes, overhead blink. Now we have overwritten the blink file onto the Raspberry Pi. Now this LED is supposed to blink if everything goes right. All you need to do is uh, you need to run this program. So to run this program, what we do is we click this play button over here. Once you click on the play button, 
if you notice the led will start blinking okay now if you make any changes into the program like if let's say i make the slip to be 0 0.5 instead of 1 and then i will save this again it will ask okay not now so while saving just make sure to stop the program first then save it and then again run it this time it will blink faster so that's your first led blink program i would say to be run on raspberry pi pico microcontroller I hope you will be able to perform this experiment easily and will be able to follow all the upcoming tutorials swiftly. Thank you for watching this video guys and if you like our videos, if you want to support our work, then please go to kitflix.com and purchase any one of our course. They are affordable as well as super helpful. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.